Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another visual pattern challenge. Here is our pattern today. We've got step one, step two, step three, and step four. And your challenge is to determine how many of these dots are going to be in step five. If you can do that, can you figure out how many in step 43? And can you write an equation that could be used to predict the number of dots in any step at all? So that's the challenge. If you'd like to accept it, pause the video and see what you can do. All right, let's see. It looks like we have a, a pattern that's growing. The shape is a little bit funny, but it seems to be growing fairly steadily. So just at first glance, I'm thinking this is probably a linear pattern. And let's see, what is it doing here? It looks like it's growing. It's putting one on top and one off, off to the side this way. So one there, one and one off to the side of that. So here's that one on top, here's one off to the side, then one off the top, uh, one off to the side, one on top, one off to the side. So it looks like it's it's growing by two every turn. So for step five, I'd expect one uh, on the top and one off to the side just like that. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna predict 10 dots in step five. And if we look at the numbers for this pattern, I think we'll see it's pretty straightforward. So we'll look at the step number and the number of dots. In step one, we've got two. In step two, we've got four. In step three, we've got six. And in step four, we've got uh, eight. And in step five, we're predicting 10. You can probably see that the difference between each step is going to be the same here. Four minus two is two. Six minus four is two. Eight minus six is two. Ten minus eight is two. When you get that constant in the differences, you know it's linear. And you might be able to come up with a, uh, an equation for this already. Um, we use this equation for a line for linear patterns, y equals mx plus b. The m here, the slope of the line, is going to be this rate of change, this, this uh, difference we have between each step. So we'd have y equals 2x. And the b is whatever we need to adjust it. In this case, I don't think we need to adjust it at all because look, if we say y equals two times and we put in the step number for x, two times one is two. That's how many dots we have. Here, two times two, that's four. That's right. Here, two times three, that's six. That's how many dots we have. So our equation is simply y equals two x, two times the step number. So to determine how many in step 43, we simply put in 43 for the step number for x. So y equals 2 times 43, and that is 86. So we should expect to see 86 dots in our step 43. So how did that go? Did you see that this was a linear pattern? Did you get 10 for step 5? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.